Hello, this is a quick start guide for the PinePhone Beta Edition. This video should give you some basic information on the PinePhone to help you get going. Let's begin. When you first take the PinePhone out of the box, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the back of the PinePhone using a fingernail or pry tool. Now, take out the battery and remove this little piece of tape from the connector. While the battery is out of the PinePhone, we recommend putting in a SIM card to the SIM slot if you want to be able to make phone calls, send SMS text messages, or access cell data. To do this, just insert either a micro SIM card or a nano SIM using the included nano SIM to micro SIM adapter. You can also insert a micro SD card to use either as a bootable device or just to have a little bit more storage space on your PinePhone. Next up, power on the phone by holding the power button and wait a little bit for it to boot. Eventually, you should be presented to a screen that looks like this. This is Manjaro Plasma's welcome screen. Select your time zone. I'm in America slash Los Angeles time zone. Connect to Wi-Fi. Create an account for your phone. And done. After that, you will be presented to Plasma Mobile's lock screen. Development on the PinePhone is moving very quickly, so we recommend updating your PinePhone as soon as you get it. To do this, open up the Discover app, which is Plasma Mobile's app store. Then go to the sidebar, go to Updates and just click the circle button on the bottom right to start an update. Alternatively, you can update your system using a terminal by running sudo pacman-syu. Once updated, we recommend to restart the device, and bam, your PinePhone is now up to date. If your PinePhone is having an issue, here are some possible steps to fix it. If LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the microphone, the headphone jack, or your cameras aren't working, then take the back off the pine phone and double check that all the kill switches are facing upwards. Another thing that can cause LTE and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to not work is if the phone isn't charged enough or if the battery isn't inserted all the way because the cellular modem and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip both depend on the battery to be well charged for them to work. If for whatever reason you do not like Manjaro Plasma or you're just curious and you want to try other OSs on your pine phone, the wiki has a page with all of the available known OSs you might want to try. Most of them are as easy to install as plugging a micro SD card into your PC, flashing an OS to the SD card using something like Etcher or DD in the same way you'd put an OS on a single board computer, then putting the SD card back into your PinePhone and booting it up. If you'd like to flash a OS to the phone's internal storage, then you can flash the jump drive image to an SD card, Plug the SD card into your PinePhone, then plug your PinePhone into your PC, which will give your PC access to the PinePhone's internal storage and let you flash an OS to it. If you want to learn more about the PinePhone and all of its available OSs, there are a ton of good resources to check out. For official resources, the Pine64 wiki has a lot of good info, and the Pine64 forum and the Pine64 chat rooms are very good places to go if you need help. There's also several good third-party websites focusing on mobile Linux, such as Tux Phones and Linux Smartphones. Linmob.net is also a good site. They have a weekly article showing off a bunch of other articles and videos about mobile Linux, so it's a nice place to have all of your mobile Linux news in one place. If you prefer consuming video content, shameless plug, there's my channel, Pizza Loving Nerd, where I focus on a lot of Linux hardware and the software it runs. There's also Linmob's YouTube channel, where he shows off a ton of different PinePhone OSs, as well as Martine Bram's YouTube channel where he shows off some of the developments post-market OS is making because he's a post-market OS developer, and Privacy and Tech Tips who does a lot of things. Kind of hard to describe his channel, but definitely a good channel to learn more about the PinePhone. And that's it. We hope you enjoy your PinePhone as much as we enjoy developing the PinePhone.